Hi, and welcome to Outwell and to our Hornet L from our Smart Air Polyester Collection. You'll see that it's a large tunnel design tent which has three rooms inside, two of which are bedrooms, and it can sleep up to five people. For me, the uh, sort of key defining uh, feature of this particular tent would be the frame that we're using here. So as I said, this is our Smart Air uh, frame. So what you'll find is in place of the traditional poles, uh, whether it be steel or fiberglass, we actually have tubes filled with air from front to back. What that allows is for the tent to be pitched in one uh, very, very quickly and easily. What we'll do is just show you the details on that now. So to inflate the tent, we actually have our one-go inflation technology. This is where you'll find that we have just one single input valve here to blow the entire tent up. So you can just see quite clearly on the side it says air in. And behind here is where you'll find the valve to attach the pump that comes with the tent. You'll also then find that each uh, individual tube has its own out valve. You can just see here, it says air out on there. If I just open that up, deflating the tent, really simple. If I just spin this round here, then that's the valve now open. And if I move my finger, you'll hear the air come out. And if you did that on all of the uh, separate tubes, the tent will, uh, will come down really quickly and easily as well. So the pump, as I say, that comes with the tent is a double action hand pump here. You can see it has a manometer on the top, so you can keep an eye on the pressure that you are inflating the tent to. Uh, and we recommend inflating the tent between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 bar, which is about uh, 8.7 to 11.6 PSI. So what that ensures is there's quite a lot of air actually going into these tubes, and that's going to ensure that you've got excellent stability throughout the tent. And as I say, Really, the main uh, focus on this is the fact that it's so, so easy to pitch the tent. Literally roll it out, peg the four corners, plug in the pump, and off you go. The tent will be up within a matter of minutes. So what I'd like to do now is just talk you through some of the features inside the tent. So I just want to highlight another great feature of the fact that this is one go inflation that we use on here. What you'll find is all of the tubes are actually interconnected on the inside. And what that means is you have this middle tube here, as I say, which connects them all. Uh, what that does is actually provides great stability. If I put quite a lot of pressure on there, you'll just see that the tent itself sits really solid. So you've got a really stable structure, as I said earlier on. I just want to highlight as well, though, that once we're, uh, once we're inside, a good point here is just to make sure that the valves at the top, once you've inflated these, are just spinned round to this position here, which is just to the off position. That then separates each individual tube. So that in the unlikely event that anything goes wrong, the entire tent won't come down, it'll just be the one tube. So features wise, if we just kind of pop back to the front here, I um, just want to highlight this area here. You have this good sheltered area thanks to the fiberglass pole, which is just attached on the front. So this is the only pole on the tent. And that just gives you a really nice uh, sort of sheltered area. As I say, if you're lucky enough for it to be a really nice sunny day, then you can sit in here and get a little bit of shade. Or if it's a... Uh, the usual drizzly and wet weather, then you can sit in here and get a little bit of shelter as well, but still feel that you're outside. You then have a, a good sized front door coming into the tent here. You can see full walk in height. Um, I'm quite tall at about 1 meter 95, and I've got plenty of head height above me within the tent, but also coming in and out of the door as well. You can see that the door is just rolled away at the moment. There's a large window on there which has its own curtain. And just at the bottom here as well, I just want to highlight the, uh, at the ground sheet, there is also a zip right at the end here so when the door is closed over we can bring this up and this will toggle into place and then zip across the door and that's going to give you a fully uh, sealed entrance here so again not allowing any sort of water or drafts and things like that in when the door is fully closed so if we just come inside here i just want to again highlight just how much space there is as i pointed out a second ago plenty of head height within the tent and lots and lots of room around us for things like furniture and storage and things like that the tent actually has windows all the way along each side. Um, you'll see here each window has its own curtain, so if you want a little bit more privacy, you can just move the curtains quite easily. We have them rolled away at the moment, but you'll just see that the curtains are zipped, so that allows you just to choose exactly how much light is coming into the tent or how much privacy you're getting. I'll also, just while I'm down here, highlight the ground sheet. Um, it is a fully sealed ground sheet from front to back and side to side. It's bathtub in style, so it's coming up at the edges. So no drafts, no dust and dirt and things like that. And again, hopefully no creepy crawlies in here either. Up at the top, you will find a lantern hanging point in a good central location just here. And then if I just show you, coming down here, we have these cable tidies, which actually run all the way down here to where we have 
our cable entry point. So you can just see this zips open here and that allows you to bring in any electrics or cables in through here without having any of the doors open. There is a side door on here and uh, again this also has a mesh panel which you can see here which fully zips into place again for the same purpose as the front. You're going to get lots of ventilation and again hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs. There is more ventilation as well above all the windows. You have these mesh panels here which correspond to outside panels which we shall show you from uh, the outside of the tent. At the back is where you will find the bedrooms and as I mentioned earlier on there are two bedrooms here and you can sleep up to five people. So you have a three and a two split at the moment. The bedrooms actually come pre-attached in this tent as well. So when it comes to you uh, actually setting the tent up, that's a job that you don't have to worry about because it's already been done for you. And the way that it's attached is using our wave-shaped hanging point system here. So what this does is it just takes any stress off of this seam here. If I just pull on this, you'll just see that that is uh, quite nicely uh, held in place with the wave-shaped hanging point. Lots of other features on the bedrooms too. On the outside, you have some handy sized storage pockets. There's also some mesh panels again on the doors of the bedrooms. So when they're closed over, again, you can get good ventilation within the bedrooms themselves. If we just uh, have a look in the empty bedroom here, you'll see that at the bottom, we have a low light window. So that just allows you to be able to have a look outside the bedroom without actually leaving. At the back, there's a large ventilation panel which corresponds to outside ventilation. and you're find that the ceiling in here is also much darker material uh, and that's hopefully going to allow you to have a slightly longer lie in the morning if it's nice and bright. You'll then find that in the middle here, this entire sheet is fully zipped all the way around. So uh, a good amount of privacy between the bedrooms. If you do want to create one large bedroom, it's really simple. You can just simply uh, unzip the entire sheet there, creating one large bedroom across the back. And another nice feature here is that we're using our universal bedrooms. So these zips in the middle form part of this and we'll now show you how that works. So on the outside of the tent, still plenty of features to talk you through here. I'll start off with our fly sheet. This is our Outex 6000 material. This is actually a 150 denier uh, taffeta polyester, so really good quality, durable polyester on here. From the inside then, we then tape all of the seams and we also PU coat it just to ensure that it's going to be completely waterproof and actually has a hydrostatic head of 6000 millimetres, so as I say, completely waterproof. Um, you'll also just notice on the blue panels that we emboss our logo on here and that just gives it an extra little bit of classy detail on there too. Some other features then to highlight, we did point out on the inside that we have these uh, ventilation panels here. Easy to get rid of, if it does get a little bit chilly we can just pop outside and push them down like this just to take them out of the way. We then also have our luminous guidelines all the way around the tent here, so hopefully you're going to be able to see these a little bit easier when it's dark and stop you tripping over them. Then each guideline has its own retainer, so when it comes to packing down the tent, we can wrap up the guidelines and pop them in here so that you don't have a big tangled uh, sort of bird's nest, if you like, of, uh, of guidelines that you have to waste time uh, having to untie. We then have our easy pegging system on this tent as well, so this is where we provide you with three different types of pegs. We have the solid steel anchor pegs for the four corners of the tent. We have the black plastic pegs for all the way around the side pegging points. And we also have the luminous pegs for the luminous guy lines. So just ensuring that you've got the right peg in the right place there. Something else just to highlight then around the front area, we actually have these mud valances on here too. So it's just going to encourage any rainwater to run down the tent and away from the inside. So I mentioned on the inside, the tent has plenty of windows, but from the outside, you will see that each one of these windows is tinted. So it serves two key functions. One is to reflect the sunlight away from the inside, keeping you a little bit more comfortable. And second is obviously you're going to get much more privacy within the tent as well. 
There is a couple of optional extras available for the tent, which would include a carpet for the living area inside, just giving you a little bit more comfort under foot. And also there's a footprint available to go under the ground sheet too. So that's all of the features of our Hornet L from our Smart Air Polyester collection. Thanks very much for watching.